or I'm recording now, so I won't say that it's been like three weeks since that was due, but I don't care, you know. Um, I'm just going to do the menu. <clears throat> so this is Lolcat's menu. Um, I've got a body here, and I'm going to just put in a series of links, right? So I'm going to just call it um, uh, a href. And I'm just going to do a, I'm going to do a hashtag. What a hashtag does is it kind of just puts a placeholder in. It doesn't do anything. It's just an empty link. But if you need that href to show up, you know, as something that you can click on, or you're going to put in something later, or you're going to use JavaScript to change it instead of you know like use an on click, but you want that, um, you want the finger and everything to work like a button, you can just put in an href hashtag. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to close the A, and so let's call this link 1, and same deal, I'm going to just copy this. How many links do we need? Five? Five's good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give these um, a class. I'm going to call it menu. Now we did this with Bootstrap. Should I, should I do this with Bootstrap? Make it real? All right. You talked me into it. You guys. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go out and get started. I'm going to get my link. And I'm going to get my bootstrap. Okay, so there's my bootstrap link. I've got it installed. And let's see here. So let's go and look at the component for nav pills, which is the trick to, to get the menu. Navs, nav bar, I'm just going to search on nav. I think it's nav dash pills. Yeah. So we do this with a, with a list, right? List items in, in a UL. That's kind of the standard modern way of doing things. And so actually I'm going to just push all this code down and post this. And then I'm going to take each one of these and put it inside. Oops. Put it inside each one of the list items. So I've got now it's already here. So well no, I'll do it. So I've got my list items here. I'm going to get rid of these. Oops. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it in there. Get rid of these. We'll call this two. We'll call this three. Let's do a few more. Four, five, six. Okay, so I've got a series of links here. Um, all linking to nothing. Notice this is a class active, which is telling it that there's obviously that there is a. Um, <coughs> uh, this is the active link right now. So let's just have a look and see what we get. Okay, so this is Bootstrap right out of the door, right? Gives us this little gradiated button, and it gives us these rollovers. But this isn't what we want. We want this. So let's play around with segmenting this and playing around with, with getting it to look like we want it to look. So um, I just happen to have Photoshop running here. And I went and I clicked with my Photoshop on the background. And there is my color for my background. So BCF257. This is nice and easy because we can just keep working on the code. Okay, so I'm going to get my, my style here. I'm going to create my own style to override Bootstrap. So I've got to put it below. The link. And I'm going to say um, nav. Oops. Dot nav. Dot 
now of pills. So I'm targeting this UL specifically, right? And then I'm going to say when there's a list item inside it, let's give it a background. And since I happen to have the color, I'm not going to do my traditional background red. I'm going to do my background of BCF257. And I'm going to close it. And let's save it. And notice, we're going to call this menu.html. But guess what happened? It automatically dropped in my links here, right? So Or dropped in my green backgrounds. So I'm kind of already in a good spot. So now I'm going to hop down. and Actually, I want to look at this in, in the browser. There it is. Um, so this is, we're already pretty far along here, right? What do we want to do now? What do we got, Tyler? Do you want to do that bevel? Let's do the bevel. Sure, Jeff. Don't mention it, Tyler. Um, I'm just going to say CSS bevel. I don't know how to do it. But, but, but Google knows how to do it. Bevel box, box shadow, JS fiddle, how to create embossed in CSS3, 3D effect with CSS. What? Get out. Look at that. Ooh, there's some bevel going on there. Look at all of those. Oh, look, there's an inset. And there's, oh, what? Yes, I did that. I did, did go there. I actually went out on the internet and stole the code. Oh, Jeff would never allow that. Let's just throw it in there and see what happens. So RGBA, right? Have you guys played with RGBA? It's just, it's the same thing as using a color, but it's R, the values RGB, and A stands for alpha, so you can actually have transparency in colors. So this is really, really, really nice. It's a 50% transparency. This is an 80% transparency. So um, one would be solid. Um, so this is white, this is black. Um, this is an off, so these are offsets. So actually, let's go back and look at W3 schools. Come on. Okay, so outline, CSS, outline offset, length, initial, Inherit. Is there a try it here? There is. It's JavaScript. This isn't quite what I'm looking for, but let's try it here anyways. Yeah, so this is outline offset. That's not necessarily what I want. Let's go back and say jQuery, CSS left. Offset border. Yeah, this is it takes us out to, to that again. Let's go back and look at the code that we copied. Inset. All right, that's why I'm searching the wrong thing. You have to be smarter than Google on that. CSS borders. Okay, so we. When we do the solid, you know, up until now we've been doing dotted and solid borders, right? One pick, solid, red, right? So we can do, oh, look, we can do inset border, outset border. Defines a 3D border uh, outset. Ridge. So let's check it out. So here are all of the different borders that we can get in there. And, of course, you can do, like, border dash top and border dash left. So you could do an, a, a bevel that way, right? You could do inset and outset on two different sides or two different colors, things like that. Borderwood style, solid, 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 border color. Let's just have a look what we get with this. So save it. I don't think this is going to work. So we'll, here's the menu. No, it didn't really work. So let's do this. 
quarter. Uh, I'm going to do a three pixel inset. Uh, no, I'm going to do three pixel solid black. And then I'm going to do order style. And I'm going to say inset. So what do what are the parameters that we pass to this? Let's see if we can find a better example. Do a stack overflow. Here we go. So here's the answer. You can use box shadow. So box shadow is one way to do it. Box shadow inset. <clears throat> What's he trying to do? Quick question of CSS border. I need to create a solid color inset border. It's a bit of CSS I'm using, right? And so this is what people are suggesting. Box shadow inset 0, 0, 010, and then it has a color. And then got some other examples here. Let's just see what this does. Ooh, ooh, I. So I could say border left and border top. There's an offset. And let's set this to something more. So you can see we're starting to get that, and so this actually should be, we want this to be white. So there it is, but that's not quite what we want. So we actually want, we do want shadow. Let's see if this works. Nope. Because it needs that, it doesn't actually need a dash shadow. I can kill this. So what were they saying about border shadow? There's an inset shadow. Is there an outset? No. So you can see, you see, you can start to play with these things here a little bit. And so you could just do a straight shadow too. But to get that bevel, um, that's another way to get it. So um, again. This is inset. So let's just go back and see what we get with this. Let's see how it looks in a browser. Nothing. Possibly just too small. Let's just zoom in on this a little bit. No, oh, can't really see the border. So you've got a roll over here. <clears throat> Not helping at all. No. Let's see what else we can find. Border style. Emulate borders to inset box shadow with inset box shadows. CSS 3D buttons. Let's 
Oh, that's clever, isn't it? It's not what we wanted, but that's a clever button. I think they're doing that without... Uh, Yeah, they're just changing the position. We all know how to change the position, right? And then the bottom border. So when you push the button, it just changes. Okay. Same same demo, just slightly changed. I don't want to do a, there are a ton of button generators out there, but, okay, so here's how to create the button, yes, it can be done, results look something like this, not exactly, a lot of code here, but how are they doing it, again, box shadow with the inset, so we could do this. Now we're starting to get close. Look at that. So I'm going to actually bump up the transparency on this so it looks a little more solid. So we're getting there. So all of this, all of these insets would be just tweaks to that to that code. Let's save it. So Tyler, you know, wait for the movie to come out. Tyler's gone. We've, we've lost Tyler. Okay, so you can see we're starting to get a little little button here. So it looks like it's going to be button shadow with the inset is going to be our best bet. And so we can keep tweaking this. So when you do inset, it's X, it's Y, it's um, blur, and uh, I'm not quite sure what that one is, or uh, spread and, and blur. Let's go and look real quick. Box shadow, inset, optional changes, inset, blah, blah, blah. Let's go back. Border style, inset, border effects, CSS tricks. Oh, look at this. I got a little generator here. This is cute. Here we go. Offset X, offset Y, blur radius, and the spread. I was right. And then, of course, the color. So there are your offsets for the box shadow and box shadow inset. Okay, I'm going to stop recording because this thing is just going on and on. 18 minutes to just fumble around to get these menus done. Tyler, I hope you appreciate this.